welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva. I make videos all about sustainable, low waste living, veganism, and minimalism. And without further ado, let's get into 10 low waste swaps for your bedroom. The first swap I have is buying sustainable fashion. It's really important to buy sustainable fashion. Sustainable fashion is better than fast fashion obviously fast fashion involves the exploitation of the environment of people maybe even animals depending on what you're buying so yeah buying sustainably and ethically is really 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 important so always buy sustainably the next thing is second hand fashion buying second hand is really really great it's really good for the environment because you're not requiring any new materials to be made any new products to be made you're simply using what has already been made the next thing is secondhand furniture and just furnishings for your home. So we get all of our furniture secondhand. We got it all off of Facebook Marketplace, which is really great. And for your furnishings, for example, our curtains in our bedroom were originally downstairs in our kind of like dining living area. And we weren't using them there, so we bought them up here and just put them back on. And you can also get curtains secondhand really easily. It's much, much more sustainable to buy things secondhand and way, way cheaper. The next thing is energy saving light bulbs and just energy saving things just in in your bedroom. It's where we charge things, we have the lights on when we're just sitting in our bed or whatever. Make sure you always use energy saving light bulbs as well as charging your phone. Make sure that when you charge your phone you don't leave it on charge all night and you turn the plugs off. What I tend to do is I plug my phone in when I get into bed because I read for a little bit before I go to sleep. And then when I finish my reading, I unplug my phone, I turn off the switch so that I don't waste all that energy. It's actually really bad for your phone battery for it to be plugged in all night. So the next thing is bedding and sheets. You can find sheets secondhand. I wouldn't personally buy bedding like duvets and pillows secondhand, but all of our duvets and pillows are vegan. They don't have any down in. Down comes from goose feathers. Um, geese are plucked alive to get the down. So not only is it super unsustainable because it's part of animal agriculture, it's also unbelievably disgustingly cruel and so that is not good obviously if you already have down then use it don't waste it but um when buying in the future please don't buy down and in terms of our sheets we use sheets that we already had but i would quite happily buy sheets secondhand and just wash them and use them on my bed it really doesn't bother me the next thing is if you have any plants in your bedroom having plants in your bedroom is great it just brings a bit of life into the room and makes the air a little bit nice and clean especially kind of house plants like snake plants and stuff just make sure you look after them so i clean all my plants with banana skins i've shared about this on my instagram i will leave that link down below of course the next thing is mothballs so mothballs tend to be plastic they come in plastic they're little plastic balls that you put in your drawers or put in your clothes so that moths don't eat your clothes it just deters the moths they are full of chemicals they are not good for you they're not good for the environment because they're plastic and they're not so great for moths instead we use these little rings of cedar wood and you can hang them on your hangers above your clothes and put them in your drawers and when the cedar wood kind of stops having an effect on the moths which might eat your clothes you just shave down the cedar wood to expose some fresh cedar wood and they'll start working again. The next thing is birth control because of course the bed isn't just for sleeping. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a whole video on sustainable sex. I'm just finishing off some research. I like to use a diaphragm, that's my personal preference. I am in a, a monogamous heterosexual relationship with my partner of five and a half years. I don't use any hormonal birth control. I just use my Kaya diaphragm. I really, really enjoy this, but yeah, it's a really, really great alternative to single use uh, birth control methods. But obviously if you are not in a monogamous relationship, then you need to be using something like condoms just because otherwise you're not protecting yourself against sexually transmitted infections and diseases. And the next thing is hankies. So in every room in our house, we always have a jar with some hankies in. They're really great. You can use them to clean up anything. You can use them on your face and just throw them in the washing basket once you finish with them and wash them and reuse them over and over and over again. And the final thing is sleep. Sleep is so important. In order to be sustainable in life, you need to sleep well. So like I said before, I read before I go to sleep. I also use lavender essential oil on my pillow. I put a few drops on my pillow every night and then I get my book out on my Kindle and I just read for as long as it takes for me to fall asleep. I make sure I don't use my phone in bed and eventually I just drift off into my slumber and I wake up seven hours later and it's just wonderful. It works really, really well for me and yeah. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below any videos you want me to make. I will be moving house in the next month. So if you want me to do a moving vlog, please comment down below and I can do that for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me. I really like growing a little community here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.